You've got a tight lower back and I want to help you out. I'm Dr. Jared and these are some of the most effective stretches that you can do to decrease tension and pain in your lower back and feel better fast. Here's why these exercises work. Your hips and your upper back should actually be very mobile while your lower back is very stable. However, if your hips or upper back aren't moving the way that they should, that stress can get transferred into the muscles and joints of your lower back. That's what causes that tightness and pain. And so these exercises, we're not only going to address the tension that's right here in your lower back, but we're gonna hit the upper back and the hips as well, so the pain not only goes away now, but stays away long term with the increased mobility in these other areas. And so if that sounds good to you, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is my favorite hamstring stretch. You are going to need a belt or a towel or a sheet or a rope for this one. What you're going to do is uh, grab the ends, you're gonna put that right around your foot and then lay down on your back. Now, I like this position because it keeps that tight back in a very safe, a very neutral position. Now what we're going to do is you're just going to grab the ends and then pull that foot up towards the ceiling, kind of up towards your shoulder, just until we get a good stretch right here through the back of the leg and through the back of the hamstring. Now, a little hint that I like to tell people here, with the knee locked out, you feel that right behind your knee. If you unlock your knee slightly, you'll be able to pull a little further and it stretches a little higher up in the hamstring. So you can kind of figure out what feels best to you. And what I recommend there is a 20 second hold repeated three times and then we're gonna do that on both sides. The next stretch is one for one of the deep muscles in your glutes. It's one of your deep hip rotators called your piriformis. It gets tight a lot in our hips and again, shifts some of that tension up into your lower back. So what I want you to do is lay down on your back, cross your left leg over your right. With your hands, you're going to grab right behind the back of your right hamstring or right behind the back of your knee and then just pull that right knee up towards your chest or right knee up towards your right shoulder. And what we're gonna do is pull until we get a good stretch right here, kind of deep in the hip. You're gonna feel that again, deep in those hip rotators is the area that we're after. 20 second hold, and then we're gonna repeat that three times on both sides. And a lot of the patients that I work with, I mean, this is kind of a hurt so good. Like, you know, it's, it's tight and it's tense, but there's a lot of relief appreciated with that one. Next, let's get into one that's a little more specific. We're gonna kind of creep up into your lower back. This is going to be a lumbar spine rotation stretch. And so laying on your back with both knees bent, knees together, feet together, I always start with both knees at the same time. So I'm gonna drop both knees over here towards my left while I keep both of my shoulders down flat on the table. And as I go left, you're gonna feel a pull stretch right up through kind of the right hip and up into the right lower back. Hold it in a comfortable spot for 20 seconds and then go over here to the right until we repeat that over here on the left stretch. And then we're gonna repeat that. That's kind of the beginner version. If you feel like you could handle more, I like to do the one leg version. So I'm gonna kick my left leg straight. With my left hand, I'm gonna grab the outside of my right knee and then I'm gonna use that to pull and to rotate over here towards my left until I get that good stretch up in the right side of my lower back. And again, it's a little bit more aggressive. One's not right and the other's not wrong. It's just whatever you can tolerate. We're after just a good, comfortable stretch in each direction. We're gonna do that 20 seconds and we're gonna repeat that three times. The last thing that I wanna show you here on my treatment table is going to be a rotation stretch for your upper back, for your thoracic spine. For this one, what I want you to do is lay down on your side. Right now I'm on my left side. I'm going to bend both of my knees up as high as I can take them. That means, so, so basically with this, the higher your knees go, the more we lock out the lower back, the more you're gonna feel this stretch in your upper back. So the knees come all the way up high. My left hand goes right here on top of my right knee. With my right hand, I'm going to reach back behind me towards the wall over here and rotate, I gotta pop out of that one, rotate as far as I can until I feel a good stretch a little bit higher in your back, kind of up more in your thoracic spine area. And what I would do is I'd hold that, well, oh, that's, that's a good one. What I would do is I'd hold that in a comfortable spot for 20 seconds, and then you can kind of close it down, kind of reach this way. That's a good stretch, kind of take it the other way. And then we can come back here, hold for about 20 more seconds. And then we're gonna repeat that three times to each side. 
A common cause of tightness in your lower back is pulling from tension in tight hip flexors. This is my favorite stretch for those. You're going to get into a tall kneeling position. So I've got my right leg down, my right knee down, and my left foot in front of me. I'm going to get into nice, good, tall posture, and then shift my weight onto my left foot. So pull my weight forward until I get a good stretch right here through the front of my hip. Here, I'll demonstrate on the other side so it's a better visual. So my right foot is down, my left knee is down. I'm going to push my hips forward until I get a good stretch right here through the front of the hip, through that hip flexor. You might even feel a little bit of a pull up in your upper back or in your lower back. You're going to hold that in a comfortable position for 20 seconds, and then we'll repeat that three times on both sides. Now, one of my favorite stretches for your entire spine would be a child's pose. This is a yoga pose. Um, it's really popular, it's really common. What we're going to do is get down on all fours with my hands out here in front of me. Keep my hands down right here. Breath in, deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, we're gonna sit down onto our heels, and the chin kind of comes into your chest down here until we just get a good arch throughout the entire back. Feel that pull through your lat muscles, feel it pull through your lower back, tuck your chin into your chest, feel it stretch comfortably through your neck, and then we're gonna hold that for 20 seconds. Come right up out of it, give it a break for just a second, and then we're gonna get into it two more times. So three times 20 seconds is a great number on the child's pose. And then the last stretch that I have for you, it's more of an active motion um, exercise. One of my favorites, this is a cat cow. Um, we're gonna get down on all fours. My hands are below my shoulders. My knees are below my hips. I'm going to push my shoulder blades apart. So to kind of try to pull your shoulder blades apart as you arch your back up towards the ceiling, tuck your chin down into your chest. We're trying to get as much arch as you can through your back until we just get a nice, good, comfortable stretch. That would be the angry cat pose. And then we're gonna follow that up with a reverse. And so to down into the cow looks just like this. So now my chest and my stomach are falling down towards the floor, head is coming up until I get this nice extension arch throughout my entire spine. I'd hold that for about oh five or so seconds and then get back up into the angry cat. We're gonna hold that for five seconds and then we're just gonna move out of extension and flexion and we're gonna repeat that until our spine loosens up and improves mobility. About 60 seconds worth is a great number to shoot for. Now it's a great idea to supplement these stretches with core strengthening. Here's my favorite workout to do that. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, hit the circle right here to do that. I hope these stretches help your back feel better. Hope to see you again soon.